In about 20 seconds, I'm going to count every single cut in this Mr. Beast video. And yes, that also includes transitions and jump cuts. Now that you've been informed, let's start. I've got the counter here so you can see everything. And I don't know how many times I'm going to have to pause it, but we'll see what happens. All right. Here we go. This is officially your yacht. Woo! Congrats, man. <laughs> the only catch is I'm going to do everything in my power to destroy it. And it's up to you to protect it from attacks like 100k and so much more. You got it. Okay. I wasn't even clicked on this anyway, so that wouldn't have counted, but that was a lot faster than I was expecting. I won't lie. Alright. Let's go again. This is officially your yacht! Woo! Congrats, man. <laughs> the only catch is I'm gonna do everything in my power to destroy it. And it's up to you to protect it from attacks like 100 cannonballs, massive explosives, and so much more. You gotta be kidding me. And you have exactly 24 hours to build defenses for your brand new yacht. Time has started. Good luck. All right, dude. Let's see if this yacht sinks. And Sean, using my credit card, immediately bought a bunch of supplies and began building his defense against phase one. 100 cannon shots. Run me through your plan. My plan is to build a giant wall, angled to hopefully block the cannon fire. And after working all throughout the night, into the next morning, and all the way through a complete 24 hours, Sean was going to have to call it. Because the time is up, let's, let's go it. shoot some cannons. Will his defense protect his new yacht from 100 cannonballs, or will we start this video over with a new contestant. Phase one of four has begun. I'm nervous. All right, Sean, we're about to fire the cannons at your new yacht. Terrifying. Aim the cannon! Fire! Oh, that's just going right through. Dude, it is ripping through those storage containers. Oh! The cannons were melting through his defense like butter. I'm toast, man. I I feel like I lost a little piece of my soul. And probably a piece of your yacht. Whoa. The cannons were already damaging Sean's yacht and we're just getting started. These cannons are tearing me up. She's a goner. I guarantee it just went straight through. We kept firing cannon after cannon, ripping through Sean's defense. These cannons are way more hardcore than I thought they were. And after a torturous three hours, Thing. Somehow, God, I hope my yacht isn't shredded. Sean's yacht actually survived. You have a oh my goodness! And it hit a rail, dude. Bro, a cannonball hit right here. But that was only the least of the damage. No. The bathroom in Sean's yacht was completely destroyed. Look at that mirror right there. Three cannonballs hit your yacht, and you nearly survived phase one. I'll take it. Three out of a hundred. It's pretty good. Oh. No, I need you to take phase two more seriously. Okay. And if you don't think I'm being serious, I'll just show you. Bring out the bomb! In 24 hours- Whoa, what just happened? I think I got two of those. All right, so we're gonna play that back in slow-mo. I'm just gonna minus two on that because I think I got two of those cuts. That was fast. One, two, three, four, five. And Six. Okay, we got it. Seven. <sighs> we're at 99 cuts so far, and we're two and a half minutes in the video. My forearm's kind of cramping, I'm not gonna lie. All right, here we go. Four hours, those Whoa. 15 sea bombs will explode around your yacht. Oh no. And by the way, we tested these things before the video. They are extremely powerful. That wasn't a cut. I gotta go back. Minus one. All right, there we go. 15 big booms in a circle around this thing. How am I gonna protect this? I'm gonna go hit the hay in a yacht, surrounded by bombs, come back fresh in a couple hours. Sean got up the next morning and immediately got to work. But because of the severe thunderstorm, he couldn't use his crane. This is brutal. We're doing everything by hand. That wasn't a cut. This is tricking me, man. That was a cut though. So I'm like, there. How are you gonna pad up the yacht? Mattresses. That's right, Sean's big plan is mattresses. And his workers bought every mattress in town. All of those mattresses, we'll start ferrying them back and forth. Okay. Okay. 
to the yacht anymore. It just yeah. looks like a bunch of mattresses. In two hours, we blow up the mines, and he hasn't really done as much as I thought. These are heavy. You know how much easier this would be with the crane? You know how much easier this would be if it wasn't in water? Yes. Boat chicken! This is not looking good. I don't think his yacht's gonna survive. Three, two, one! Time's up! That's all I'm gonna get. So he has some mattresses and water jugs. Carl, can you cover his ears? This might be the most hideous thing I've ever seen. What I'm getting from you is you don't think this is gonna work. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, there. Let's see if the yacht sinks. Fell behind for a sec. Can I have the hat? I will give you my hat if your yacht survives, all right? Three, two, one, blow it up! <laughs> Jump cuts are getting me. Okay. Whoa. All right, so I overstepped a second, so I'm gonna count this as a cut uh, for this part, but let's continue. It's over. Come on. Let's go check it out. My yacht. It looks good. Yeah. She's still standing. We did it. Yes. It just burned the mattresses. That's right. I'm not sure what to say. Somehow, these mattresses were actually a very effective defense against the mines. In front of us is phase three. This attack consists of three different levels. We're going to be launching a million fireworks straight at your yacht followed by a barrage of flaming arrows a level higher, and finally, catapults launching flaming death balls from the sky. And by now, Sean's build strategies were getting pretty efficient. He gave his crew orders. Yeah, let's go ahead and get those containers moved into place for phase three. Then got some much needed rest while they worked. Now it's on. There was two cuts there. All right, plus this one. Do trebuchets, fireworks, and flaming arrows. What is your plan? My plan is to basically get more shipping containers and build a giant wall. And I'm basically just hoping that that wall will be tall enough to block the fireworks and the flaming catapult debris from hitting the yacht. That's so sketch. This whole thing is so sketch. Today is my day. I'm feeling it. I'm hard, hard confidence now. Okay. Compared to phase two, <laughs> this is insane. You really stepped it up. Yeah, man. You went from a pathetic build that let multiple cannonballs through to this, which I actually think might work. He's currently taking lake water, flushing it through sprinklers to wet his mattresses. All right, we're about to go inspect his defenses. Now a bad time to tell you guys I'm afraid of heights. This is a 40 foot tall, solid wall. When we fling the catapults, they're gonna fly over the shipping containers where I'm at and hopefully hit his yacht, right? Nah. You're gonna miss. Hey, Chandler, envision you're a catapult with giant flaming balls. I got you. Ready, aim, fire! That's yep. the one. Dead hit! Yeah! Your boat's going down! Not gonna happen! All right, so why are you so confident? You have 30 seconds where you could be building and you're doing nothing. We're ready. It's covered up. I built the wall. Everything's wet back there. Do we even need to wait 20 seconds? No. Let it rip. Let's do it. Time's up. Phase three is upon us. Catapults flaming arrows, and a million fireworks. Let's see if his yacht lights on fire. Ready the firework? Any last words? Good luck. Fire the fireworks! All right. Oh, okay, there. Oh my God. It doesn't look real, bro. That is wild. Oh my God. How is it, how is it doing that? And while these pretty fireworks are going off, I'm gonna tell you about Loon's Tower Defense 6. Oh no. Loon's Tower Defense is a game I've actually been playing since I was a teenager. Oh my There's God. so many. No joke, I used to literally play this in English class when I was 15. Dude, I see smoke on his yacht. And they're back with their sixth installment of the game, Loon's Tower Defense 6. Oh my God. How is it? How is it? And if you've never played Balloon Tower Defense, basically you defend yourself against the balloons by placing monkey towers and heroes on the map. I want to celebrate something oh right now. Goodness, bro. You're hitting his yacht. It's difficult to focus on the background when an asset is over. Oh, the arrows! Now it's time for a thousand flaming arrows! Oh my god! The arrows are going right over. Yeah, I wouldn't cheer yet. Ready the catapult. 
bolts. Ready? And because of the sponsor, the next thing we're flinging are balloons. On fire. Here we go. Basically flaming bowling balls. I know. There it goes. That's going straight for his yacht. Whoa. That hit the shipping container right by his yacht. Let's go, baby. Now, if you buy anything in game, use Mr. Beast. Code. If you want <laughs> that tricked me. All right, we'll just count it for the next cut, and I won't press it on the next. Support cut. me and help me do more videos like this. <sighs> next cut, I won't press it. Make sure you download Luke's Tower Defense. Um, I'm seriously not doing this on. Okay, so just cut. Now after this, I can start pressing now. See, if you download it right yeah. now, you can get a Mr. Beast pack for free. Oh, oh my oh, God! Oh, oh. Is exposed. Sean, I'm feeling worried for you right now, bro. I'm still feeling good. I think I'm good. This is a heavy balloon. Dude, this looks nothing like a balloon. You just don't look at enough balloons. The defenses right. are falling. Oh. Let it rip. And if just one of these catapult shots lands on Sean's yacht, oh. this whole video might be over. That was a little closer than I that thought was it was going to be. Fire the final catapult. Oh. oh, that's a direct hit. Oh! Water! The only thing burnt today is me, boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? Sean, you might be laughing now, but you are not ready for this final phase. In 24 hours from now, we will be attacking your yacht with a barrage of machine guns. Any questions about phase four? Ah. Uh, in addition to every single phase so far in this video combined, the the arrows, the 100 cannons. You have 100 more cannonballs? And rather than a bunch of bombs, this giant monstrosity, borderline nuclear missile, questionably even illegal, island flattening sea mine. All of that on top of machine guns? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sparkling water break. 10 minutes in, and there's 370 cuts. I'm not gonna lie. I thought there was gonna be more. Five minutes. Here we go. Today is phase four of the challenge. The general plan is to just put a ton of stuff between my yacht and the up and coming attacks. We're gonna use the remaining crates to try to block any cracks the bullets might get through. That container is just perfectly placed for this outside perch. Use as much dirt as we can to create an impact barrier right in front of the wall where the cannons are gonna shoot. And since the giant bomb can be sent from behind, I'm just gonna do what I can with the time remaining and close the back with water filled barrels. This challenge is tough. I mean, I'm, I'm away from home, missing the family, and the water element makes everything so difficult because you can't just walk out to the boat and put stuff on it. It's made it so difficult. That bomb has me nervous. He has multiple layers of metal shields for the machine guns, a mountain of sand, and a bunch of other stuff to stop the cannons. He still has the tall wall for the projectiles and the soaked mattresses. Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody stop! Time is up. I think this has all been a bad dream. I feel like it's about to escalate really quick. Uh, I genuinely hope you win this thing. Ever since I was a little kid, I always wanted a boat like this. I just gotta get through this final phase and we're home free. Anything Slowing down a little bit. Let's go. There's just a boat. And now there's all of this. I don't know how you did it. You nervous? No, no. That makes literally no sense whatsoever. This final phase may just be your worst nightmare. Ready your weapons! On top of all these machine guns, oh, we have 100 right cannons, a giant mine, the equivalent of all 15 from earlier, all of the fireworks, arrows, and catapults all together in one final phase. It's about to escalate. Well, they're actually aiming through the cracks. Oh, oh! Okay, that didn't... All right. One of the shooters accidentally shot the fireworks stand and caused this to happen. Well, it looks like you're right. the full package. Hey, what is going on? I'm going to be honest with you, Sean. I don't think your yacht's going to make it. But I think it's time for the next day. Prepare the cannons! Let's see if you've learned your lesson from the last time we fired these cannons. I saw one hit. 
It's so, actually scaring me now. Although one of the cannonballs hit a John, the crate and mound of dirt were able to stop the rest of the impacts. And his defense against my flaming catapults were so effective, he even caught a burning t So he gets about to <laughs> escalate. Wait, did that land in the shipping container? At the rate we're going, this is gonna take all night. I think we just send everything all at once. I want you to launch cannons, fireworks, arrows, catapults, everything at the same time. Three, two, one, fire everything! That's insane. Look at how much smoke is out there! It's like World War Three. How much more of this can I take, Jimmy? almost every attack we have on your yacht. But like every YouTube video I've ever done, we're saving the best for last, or in your case, the worst for last. We took the 14 C-bombs from earlier in this video, combined them into one mega C-bomb, and it's currently on an RC boat heading directly to blow up your yacht. This explosion is going to be massive. All right, there she goes, there she goes. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that was crazy. Dude! Let's go see if it's Let's there. go check it out. Let's go see my yacht! Look at everything his yacht endured. I've done a lot of weird things. I've never experienced something like this before. You didn't say it had to be pretty. And after all of that, your yacht is still floating, but it does look like some stray bullets and cannibals made it through. Yeah. So, boys, bring it up. Here's 50,000. I think that was. Yes. So you can actually repair this yacht. Yes. Before we end the video, they're going to want to know, what is the name of your brand new yacht? Its name is and if you're wondering, yes, we did ensure the lake was completely cleaned up after this video. For, for the love of God, subscribe so we can pass TCS. Okay. 528 cuts on protect the yacht, keep it from Mr. Beast. Whew. That took a lot of focus. All right. I'll see you at the next edit.